they send me a lot of books, a whole lot. So some of them I read, some of them I don't, some of them I just pick through them a little bit looking at it. But I read Jace's book. Oh, yeah, that was the bombshell of the morning, what Phil's fixed <laughs> yeah, to yeah. say, because my actually, mouth went open. I said, I wonder what Jace had to say. <laughs> good call. I thought, good call. So but, I know. But it, it kind of, he's got him a, a sequence of events from, from I probably, y'all would say, coming from his mother's womb. Yep. Your mother and my woman. That's right. So he 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 worked that in. Yep. So for the listeners who are trying to keep up, did Phil, I show up at his birth? No, Jay's gives the reason. Phil, in the past week, <laughs> sat down and read my book. With seven years after I wrote it. That is correct. So did it happen to just be laying by your chair? Yeah, I saw it there among others. You know, most of them. <laughs> Had it been there seven years? <laughs> I, I don't know it. if it's I been seven years. Say, but, but, but I would say I thought it was a great book. It is a great book, <laughs> which uh, I read it when it came out uh, a few years ago. But it is a great book. I'm going to go back and read I, it. Very well I'm, done because it's not from a like some kind of. Uh, religious uh, uh, no it's uh it's it's unique it, it was to Jace. all there yeah. it was all there okay, now i got to give you you're the, an undefiled uh, religion what's it it is well my favorite thing we, we, we had just yeah, with us and offers i mean he he, he kept we it had simple. just started really churning out the books when jace's came out i don't know exactly sure where it is in the line of books i know willie's was first and dad's was second and size was third but we're selling a lot of books this is back in the day shows rolling and I remember, you know, the publishing process was just like, I mean, it was fire hose, drinking out of a fire hose, because they were trying to get these books out in six months, which is unheard of in the pub, but they're trying to, you know, take advantage of the show. And so, Jack, well, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, yeah, the Robertsons, they're so easy to work with. Wah, wah, wah. Well, here, I'll give you the back story. <laughs> they got I, I think Jace. the statute of limitations have run out, <laughs> if there are any on this book. But so what they do is they give you these at the time. Because our notoriety had had exploded because of the show. And so they came show. to me about a book, and I was like, oh, yeah. And so we had a negotiation process that went really well for me. But part of what they got out of the negotiation process is you had to have a ghostwriter. Because, yep. I mean, who am I? I'm no writer. And I consented that. I was like, yeah. I've never written a most, book. Most of our books have ghostwriters. But to your point, I am really stubborn. <laughs> And I thought if I put my name on it, so anyway, so this guy who is an ESPN sports writer, I think he's their senior writer, Mark Slaybaugh. Yeah, Slaybaugh. Yeah, he, did, he did one of mine. Well, they chose he him. He did two of yours. So, well, here's the funny part. So what they do in normal book processes, I guess, is they interview you. And they're like, what do you want to do the book on? Here's Here's my thought. And I was like, well. I just want to kind of tell how I got to this point of writing the book. I just want to tell the story. Yeah, tell your story. And so, uh, well, I, I think I, I think he said that, and I said, no, I want to tell God's story in my life. I mean, it, I want it to be about him. So he said, okay, well, I'll interview you. So he did. So he wrote the first chapter, sent it to me. I got about halfway through the second paragraph, called him up, and I said, this is not. I actually called the publishing company, yeah. and I was like, "We need a new." And it was no reflection. It was not like it was bad. Because he's a great written. writer. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "This has nothing to do with what I want to do." And they said, well, "They said, well, call him and tell him." So that, they already figured I was a problem, you know. Yep. <laughs> so we tried different things, and finally, I came up, and nothing worked. I said, "Look, let me just write it." And then I'll give it to you. And you we did it the exact opposite. And he paused. I said, I'll write and the you chapter. You clean it up. You clean it up. I said, and you clean it up. Yep. Well, here's what's funny. I wrote the first chapter, sent it. He sent it back. There was about four little grammar. I was like, I thought you were going to clean it up. He's like, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark got the so, deal of the year. He's he, oh, You're writing I, your own book and so he's getting paid. Yeah, and I said, this was the greatest <laughs> ghostwriting in your career. <laughs> now, there were a few, he moved yeah. some chapters around at right. the end and, and he helped in that. But for the most part, I wrote it. And a few things he said, I wouldn't tell that story. Yeah, you know, it right. has nothing to do with anything. And so there was a few moments like that. But we actually worked. 
good together and uh he's a good dude yeah, yes yeah. and look his his books i'm not sure if he helped willing them on their first one either but i know dad's size and yours jace were all you know some of the best selling books of all the books and so he he was right there with my party he, made, oh, he, did he good. made him some good books there you know well, and he, he, went, he sent uh, me a note not too long ago because he saw dad was cranking up some books again and he was like hey if you ever need ever need me nah he was good and he was what i needed once we figured out our roles right because like if i ever wrote another book i would probably go through the normal process right but on this i'm like well this is this it's is story. my story i you can't you're not going to know the and i want bible verses in the book, I mean, because at first, the, but it didn't come across as dry theology as as some of them do. No, I I, well, thought, I, I loved it. it. I, I thought this gonna... book was excellent, and me knowing him obviously his whole life, like it, it really to earth, spoke to his sense. right to the way. I had a looks couple of people because I have you know I can't remember, and he did acknowledge yeah. in the book that I have. I'm the reason he got through preaching school. So I was like, all right, he gave me. Wow, that's yep. just yeah, he, he, he had that in there. Mm-hmm. So uh, that. I'm glad you shared that. I mean, I, I appreciate it. And so, Chase would say attending preaching school was a was a bummer. He, he it was. Said, he it, said, it was a real. It, was a, he went, it went past a grind. It <laughs> was a. It was a low point <laughs> of it just. I, I really had to search deep down. Chase was a. What was your line? Chase was Jace? a fish out of water. At yeah, his line at one time was, "You have to uh, be able to have the capability of of." <laughs> looking at the instructor with your eyes open, but you're actually sound, sound asleep. asleep. He said, you it's have a, to learn how to sleep with your eyes open. It's a skill that I developed yeah. in that time. And it was only certain instructors. Most of them That's were. That's quite a were skill, good. Jace. 